The ultimate facts with who is who and what is what. In today's video we are talking about the transmutation of wild mustard. But before starting the video please, subscribe and follow us and show your support. Wild mustard was only found in a few places of Europe and the Mediterranean, about 2,500 years ago. It has a wide range of flavors depending on where it was grown. It wasn't long before the ancient Romans and Greeks understood they could grow it for food. By growing seeds from wild mustard with bigger leaves, they were able to participate in selective breeding. The result was kale and collard greens, which we now know as kale and collard greens. In the 1600s, individuals continued to selectively cultivate wild mustard for larger leaf buds. As a result, a new vegetable with a lot of leaves emerged. The first cabbage was this one. Wild mustard with thicker stems became kurabi, while those with smaller heads became Brussels sprouts and those with large blossoms became broccoli and cauliflower. Wild mustard and its derivatives were hybridized far into the 20th century. Georgi Dmitrievich Karpichenko, a Russian researcher, crossed a radish with cabbage to create the rabbage in 1928. Because the radish is not linked to the cabbage, the rabbage should have been impossible. The plant, however, never took off, because it was neither a radish nor a cabbage. Roccolini was created in 1993, when a Japanese business crossed broccoli with Kailan. In the United States, Kailan is not well known. It is a wild mustard derivative, and the Chinese equivalent of broccoli. That's all with today's video, see you tomorrow with a new one.